Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, with the recent developments with this whole coronavirus thing uh, and the announcement from Arizona that they're going to be shutting the schools down until March 27th, if you're not aware of that, that just happened actually an hour ago. Um, we have been evaluating a lot of things that we do at the gym, uh, paying attention to the CDC website as well as Arizona DHS website. Um, as of right now, the CDC is recommending um, no gatherings of larger than 50. Um, so we're good there, and Arizona is not putting any restrictions on large gatherings yet. But we still need to do what we can to obviously help with this whole entire thing and be as proactive as we can. So a few other changes we're going to make in the gym. Uh, first being no more kids in the kids area, no more kids at the gym. Uh, I know this is going to be tough for those that have kids because now they're on an extended spring break. Um, but we're just really trying to limit the amount of people that are in the gym, period. Right? Um, uh, another thing that we're going to be getting rid of or uh, sorry, another thing that we're going to be adding um, is that home workout tab. So those that can't make it to the gym that have kids utilize that home workout tab. There's options on there. If you have equipment, limited equipment, um, if you can get creative at home with something that, you know, uh, resembles a dumbbell um, that you can press, that you can snatch, that you can goblet squat, um, but get creative with things at home um, to improvise for the, for the, those equipment pieces. But there's options on there for no equipment. Um, we'll have a special tab up there for those home workouts um, that you guys can still be interactive with. So there's still leaderboard, all that kind of stuff um, for you guys to utilize um, while you're staying at home. And remember, we want you to stay at home if you're feeling sick. If somebody at home is feeling sick, a significant other, it doesn't matter. Um, but please don't bring that to the gym. Let's try to uh, get through this thing as a community best we can. Uh, and another thing that we're going to be eliminating is going to be the chalk buckets. Right, dear? Yes, so um, after many suggestions to help with cross-contamination, we are getting rid of the chalk buckets, but we will still have chalk available. So what we've done is we've taken the chalk that we put in our chalk buckets and we have individual blocks in these Ziploc baggies. These will be available at the front desk for purchase if you still want to use chalk. Uh, they're two bucks, which is our cost. We're not making any money on this. And come up to the front and we will write your name on this and then you'll have these. You can keep them in your gym bag your car, whatever, but you'll have your own little chalk bag um, and that way we can help reduce the cross-contamination and not utilize those chalk buckets for a while. So these will be available at the front desk, $2. While we're getting through this thing, guys, we're just going to have to try to eliminate as much cross-contamination as possible. So that also means um, no sharing of equipment. So if we do have partner workouts, we're going to make sure that uh, we can do those with our own equipment. So we're not sharing any, any equipment there. Um, make sure that you guys are wiping your stuff down. I know you, I put out a Facebook video about, uh, you know, cleanliness around the gym and things that we do. Um, so hopefully you guys saw that. If not, check that out, but, uh, make sure you're wiping your stuff down, um, wherever you go and, uh, we will get through this as a community. I mean, um, you know, this is constantly changing and we're, we are constantly evaluating, um, what we're doing here at the gym and making sure that we're staying in tune with what's going on, um, via those websites, the CDC website, Arizona DHS website, as of right now, you know, they're not, they're not directing us to, um, shut our doors or anything like that. Um, or even, uh, you know, limit class sizes. Um, that may be something that we have to move towards in the future, but, uh, as this thing is forever changing for our, our constantly changing for all of us. Um, we're just trying to be pro proactive and do whatever we can to keep you guys healthy and keep you guys moving. I know how important workouts are for all of you guys and getting that uh, in on a daily basis keeps us healthy. Um, and we just want to do what we can to make sure we're fulfilling that need for you guys. And most importantly, keeping our community together. Um, I know it might be tough and it's kind of scary out there, but this is a great opportunity. There's always silver lining for us to become that much stronger as a community and a CrossFit family. And we love and appreciate each and every one of you. And we greatly appreciate your understanding um, with the changes and what's going on. And just remember that everything we do here is with your best interest and taking care of our, our gym members, our trainer members, our family, um, all of us. If you guys have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to Amy or I at any time. Uh, we love you guys and we will make it through this. We'll see you in the box.